Hey everyone, this will be my third Torghast run and today we are doing the Soul Forges and right off the bat, things look so much different from the previous Torghast runs so the aesthetics is a nice change of pace um, well Vivify is useless I guess so I take Celestial Dynasty here let me turn up the game sound alright, much better hmm now these remnants do something different versus the NPCs in my first two runs. I'm not sure what they do though. I guess we will find out. Alright, YOLO, big pull here. Because I guess Brewmasters are broken, so let's see how broken they really are. Looks like the casters are the problem. We should get rid of them first. Oh, disarm. I wonder if there's a way to dodge the disarm earlier. As you guys can see, Celestial Brew is really, really overtuned at the moment. For me to pull that back, um, and basically do fine. I think it tells you how good Celestial Brew is at the moment. I think I take this. It's probably more beneficial. Okay. That's the first level, I guess. There's basically six layers, or rather six floors to every layer that you do in Torghast. And on the six floors where you'll find the final boss, and you basically just work your way up in the lower levels. I can definitely sense the difficulties going up, like there's more mechanics to deal with in my third run here. I think, I think you take the heal here, there's a tank you can pull bigger. All right, let's go to the next floor here. Alright, time to pull big again. I think I should have taken Dave to be honest, rather than Ring of Peace for Torghast, but one of the things about Torghast is you can't actually change your talents halfway through the fight. I think you basically try and snipe these guys down as fast as possible. The casters are the ones that hurt anyway. Yeah, the casters definitely hurt. Those are a problem for sure. Hmm. Starting to feel the limitations on my gear. By the way, this is templated uh, beta gear. I've not really done any farming on this brewmaster. This is basically my gear right now. Everything is templated gear from the beta. So basically they give you this templated gear when you create your character. Yes, I'm real. Thanks for asking. Such a philosophical question. I guess when you're trapped in a tower for eternity, I guess I can forgive him for asking nonsensical questions. Is there a trap here? Looks like a trap. Feels like a trap. All right. That was just me imagining things. All right. Which path do I go? I guess I take the stairs, right? Because it seems to be heading to the next floor. After all, Torghast is about ascending the tower. So I guess I go up. Definitely can be more aggressive on pulls. But I'm not too sure what these mobs do. Because I've already been surprised since I started this run on the amount of casters. Doesn't this kind of remind you of Path of Exile? There are some traps in Path of Exile with very similar, you know, fiery turrets like that. Breaking the phylacteries here. Sometimes they do give animal powers as well. Pretty sure I dashed into the fire there, but nothing happened. Alright. Is it animal power? No, it's not. Wait, there's a dude behind. What? What are you doing, man? Wait, how do I kill him? Okay, never mind. I guess it's beta after all. So you want to loot your Phantasma because they basically allows you to buy stuff later on. Animal power here, I think. Yep, there you go. Uh, I think I take a Phantasma here. I don't need that much healing anyway. Oh, I got juked. There's nothing in this room. So as you guys can see, I thought climbing the stairs was a good idea, but it's a dead end. It does give me two animal power though. Bone Dust Brew deals damage. And they have to be disabled by crowd control. So I guess I stun before using them. I have no idea what the Morat ability does though. It makes them into powerful enemies like I haven't quite figured out why I want to buff them. Like you see these Morats here? I have no idea why I want to buff them. Oh, maybe they drop Phantasma. Alright. That might have been a mistake, but... Oh well. Guess it happens. Do I pull the whole room here? I guess I do. It will be funny if I actually rolled off the platform. Oh, I've been getting some questions about my new Brewmaster Weekora. Like, how do I track Stagger? Basically you see this digit here, the white digit, that's basically stagger as a percentage of my health pool. The normalized stagger bar is kind of bumped right now. 
So that's my compromise. And I'm testing to see whether I like it better than a stagger bar. Right, ascending the stairs here. Are these traps? No. Just me being paranoid. All right, pull everything here. Yeah? Because why not? So that ability is new. Never seen that before. All right, it's a trap. Thanks, Blizzard. Isn't this thing ugly? Transform non-elite enemies into an animal cell. Perfect. Free animal power. Okay, Phantasma. I'm gonna use my free animal power right away. If I can find like an NPC or something. Or a rat. Ah, there you go. Okay, so. All right, more Phantasma. These options aren't as great as my earlier runs. More verse. I think I want this. Blackout Kick is definitely my highest damaging ability, so why not? I don't need any rolls. I can use more animal power, so I might as well buy them, and I'll use them right now. Flashcraft Explodes. Okay, fine. Reduces the damage. Alright, Spinning Crane Kick is now officially part of my rotation, I guess. And here's a nifty trick. You buy this item, you target him, and you convert him into an anima cell. There you go. He's now an anima power. And he's worth 400 Phantasma. Not sure if I even broke even there. What is this? Wait. Oh. Oh. That's cool. It's like a mini level of sort. So this level is like a freebie, huh? It, killing more rats increases your max health. I think I like that. Alright, I should start using Flashcraft. It really just feels very clunky. I tested it out in Mythic Plus. And didn't really like it. But let's see. I'm gonna use it now. And then I guess I pull back and let the shield explode. Maybe that's the play. But there's nothing here, so what's the point? Alright, never mind. I wonder if I fall into lava, whether I would die. This thing hurts my eye though. And this is clearly in beta, the texture doesn't look right. Lizard, please fix. Oh wait, it's a random elite here, what the hell. Alright, let me kill the random small mobs first. I guess those are the annoying ones. Alright, let's deal with this guy now. I guess this is pretty cool. Like, I actually need to do mechanics while dodging like the fiery trap things. I think that's a fear. I'm not sure what it does to be honest. But from the texture, I'm guessing it's a fear. I'm not gonna try it out. Oh, it gives, a fin it gives an anima. Increase haste by 15%. Okay, I take haste. Passive is good. This thing is lasting really long. All right, I just want to climb. It's a long day at work. I just want to get to the end. It's actually my last run before I go to bed. Hmm, shadow damage, but I don't, I don't do shadow damage. I think I take this. All right, last floor before we hit the boss, guys. Wait, why is my celestial permanent now? Did I take an anima power that makes it permanent? Or is it a bug? Oh well, not complaining. Kill more rats for health buff. Oh, this channel is really long. Maybe Blizzard should make it instant. Doesn't feel very good waiting for them to be free. Probably pull bigger here. Almost fell off. Not my brightest moment. Alright, kill the casters first because those are the annoying ones. I definitely feel like a step up in difficulty from my first run to my third run now. It'd be interesting to see how difficult this thing scales. Like, could this entirely replace high mythic class keystones as PvE? That could be fun. Alright, this is a puzzle box. I'm really bad with puzzles, so... No thank you. I would like to go to bed. Sleep beckons. More elites. Let's see what happens when I stand in it. it doesn't do anything, what? Or is it this debuff? No. Oh wait, it stacks! Oh my god. That is really bad. Like, taking damage for that? It basically puts a damage debuff on me and it stacks. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have tested that out. Like, get away from that. That's the lesson I learned. Alright, at least we know now, I guess. Oh, so that was why there was an anima power that granted me the ability to cleanse debuffs. Now I know. Yeah, so this is the one, right? I can cleanse this permanent damage debuff. All right, that's interesting. I'm gonna take it. 10% is a lot of damage. Feels bad though to use it. Like, I could have avoided it. But in the spirit of testing for you guys, 
that's my excuse. Like, to take the debuff there. Okay, I climb stairs. Boss beckons. Wait, side quest? Is there anything here? Nothing there. Ha, huh, spinning crane kick. It's about, it's, it's like, the. it's gonna be a boss fight, right? So I guess I take single target. I think. Although there's an argument to be made for crane kick. Because I have the anima power for it. So it kind of stacks. Oh well. I think it would be interesting to do the math on how the anima powers actually scale. Oh, this is now this is a proper boss for Torghast. The one that I did in my first run is an utter joke. Um, Alright. Cooldown is useless. Alright, this is good. Increase mastery, increase haste. I think I take more anima powers here. Hmm. Might as well buy them all. Can't spend them on anything. This is the last fight anyway. So we might as well use them. I don't think I need potions, but oh well, whatever. Alright, three free animal powers. Increase max health, okay? New boss, I guess I play safe. No need for Phantasma anymore, so... Alright, now to turn this guy into... Anima power. Alright, whatever. <laughs> That's useless, man. Alright. Channel Fresh. Um, channel Flashcraft, I guess? Let's go. Oh, it's easy. Not as hard as I thought. I guess I just dodged the danger- Oh. What is this thing? Oh, I think it freezes you. Maybe not. Soul Essence. And it's supposed to give me loot. Oh, this is Jaina. Hello. Anyway. Thanks for watching the run guys, that was fun. And hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll be doing more Torghast runs on almost a daily basis as I gather more information for the Torghast guide. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.